In this tutorial, we're going to look at Maven plugins. Plugins are a way in which we can extend the functionality of Maven. Actually, the Maven architecture itself is, uh, you know, an assembly of different plugins. So it has a very modular architecture, and uh, this is something that we saw earlier. The Maven compiler is actually a plugin inside the Maven system. So all the core components act as plugins, so it makes it a very modular architecture. Now the benefit of this, uh, you know, the plugin architecture is that you can add plugins and then configure it the way you want so that you can uh, fine tune the way Maven works specifically to your needs. In this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, the compiler plugin, which we saw earlier. Uh, this was this is the actual uh, web app project that we saw in our earlier tutorial. If you open the pom.xml here, you can see that there is a configuration for the Maven compiler plugin. And it says that the source and the target uh, are 1.4 with what's actually saying here is that the JVM version for the source as well as the target runtime is version 1.4. This is there because when I was uh, downloading the archetype and I was choosing the archetype, I chose the Java EE 1.4 version. If I chosen the Java EE 5 version, then this would have been 1.5 or Java EE 5. So this is a configuration for the Maven compiler plugin. What used to happen was in Maven version 2, the default uh, source and target for the Maven compiler actually was 1.4. So if you had to write something specific to Java E5, say for example, generics, if your code had generics, uh, without specifying the configuration, it would not work because the compiler by default was for, set for the 1.4 version. In order to use Java E5, what you had to do was we had to add this configuration, the same configuration that you're seeing here, but you had to specify the Java E5 version here because that is something that you wanted to override. You didn't want the default 1.4. If you had to run Genrix, we had to write code which had these uh, Genrix and other capabilities of Java E5. You had to do that override here and you had to specify Java E5 version over here. But since Maven version 3, Java E5 is the standard uh, version that's going to get compiled. So if you want to enforce a previous version, say you want to have version 1.4, you don't want Java E version 5, then you have to specify this configuration here. Because 5 is a default, you have to configure if you need 4. So anyway, we have uh, 1.4 configured here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to write some code which uses some of the features of Java E5. I'm going to have uh, a single line of code which has generics and uh, Maven is going to give an error. So we'll have a look at that. Now what I'll do is I'll go to the source folder inside Java. I will create a simple class here. I'll create something called as my class dot Java. Okay, so I just have a simple main method here. Now what I'll do is I will write a line of code that uses generix. So I'll, I'll say I have a list of strings. new array list of strings okay simple enough I'll have to import java.util just import everything here okay simple it's not doing anything but the only thing is that I want to have a line of code here which uses Generics. So now, since I have this class in the in the source folder, when I run the MVN compile, Maven is going to compile it. But here's the problem: in my pom.xml, I've mentioned that the compiler version is 1.4. So because of this, it's going to look at this generic code. It's going to say this is not a compatible version. You'll have to compile using Java version 5 and onwards. So let's try that out. Uh, First, make sure you're in the directory where the bomb.xml is. Now do mvn compile. 
So here you go, this is the error. Uh, here it says, my cluster Java, generics are not supported in source 1.4. Now compiler has this flag which has been configured so that it compiles with the source 1.4. Now where is this flag coming from? This is coming from our pom.xml setting. So this is how you use the plugins and you can uh, configure how the plugin behaves by specifying that in the pom.xml. Now let's say I make this 1.5. Save and compile again. There you go, it's built successfully. And now interestingly, now if I remove this whole build block, okay, I have not specified any override for the compiler plugin, but since the compiler plugin is a default for compile, it's gonna use the plugin anyway. We are not having the configuration setting. So if we run the compile, it's still going to compile. Okay, it says there's nothing to compile, so let's just clean and run the compile. So it's gonna delete the folder and then compile it again. Yes, it has compiled and it's successful. So this last case where you have not specified the plugin in the pom.xml and you're compiling uh, a piece of code that uses Java E5 features, this does not work in Maven 2 because 1.4 is a default compiler version in Maven 2. But since we are using Maven 3 here, uh, this works by default because uh, Java E5 is the default for Maven 3 and onwards. So this is, uh, this is the way in which we use plugins. So all you need to do is we need to mention the name of the plugin here and the configuration details. And then Maven is going to use that plugin in order to add functionality to our build cycle.